Okay, so today I'm trying to do a, finally, a true, proper, full video of this computer here. I've never really done a good one. Uh, this is my Power Mac G5. Uh, it's a late 2005 dual core 2.3 gigahertz. It currently has 8 gigabytes of RAM uh, installed for two gigabyte sticks and it has room for another eight gigabytes which I may or may not ever use. It really, as you can see in the iStat menus, it, even when I'm encoding video it really never feels like it needs it. Two hard drives installed. The primary boot drive is a one terabyte Samsung drive and currently the other hard drive is a, um, I believe it's a 500 gigabyte Western Digital. Or no, 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 that's my terabyte and a half drive that I have a bunch of other stuff on, like installers, movies, blah, blah, all that sort of stuff. The video card, I even have the proper genuine Apple power cable to it from here up there rather than apparently those are hard to find from what I've been told it came with the video card I need to blow this thing out it's really dirty this is a NVIDIA GeForce 7800 GTX 512 megabyte it, it's a PC card this this card was never officially made for a Mac um, so they're all, every card of that type that you'll find in one of these is a flashed PC card. Um, I guess what a guy did is he took the NVIDIA, the Quadro FX 40 something hundred, and um, he took the ROM and he edited, it, edited and tweaked it so that it would be a proper ROM to this. You can use that ROM straight over onto this but you won't get the full speed and the, uh, the full performance of this card which basically he made he modified it so that this card would work properly you know the hardware would you'd get full benefit of it and and the power pc mac this the late 2005s were also pci express they did not have agp graphics they had pci express slots as you can see, this is a big two-slot card with this big old fan on it. It's a very fast card. I noticed an immediate difference when I put it in there. Um, let's see, anything else interesting inside? It's got the two fans. It's a single processor dual core, but it still has a huge, huge heat sink. I'd pull this fan out, but I don't want to while it's rubbing. It's got the full-size heatsink as if it had two processors, in it. but it is two processing cores, so it makes as much heat as the older dual processor machines. This is the fastest, as far as I'm aware of, this is the fastest water-cooled, non-water-cooled, fastest air-cooled G5 they ever made. Um, I know it, it even does better then I think it was like the the dual processor single core 2.5 gigahertz Mac it's right up there with the 2.7 which is water cooled which I wouldn't want it's similar to that in performance at least according to Geekbench and the things I've seen on Mac Tracker I suppose you could make it faster but anyway this is as fast, if not slightly faster, than a stock one, just because of the things I've done to it. The video card and the RAM upgrades and the faster hard drive. And now we're back up here. I, it's kind of been a pain in the butt spot, which is why I haven't blown it out. Plus, I will not blow it out here in the room. I will take it to the garage, and that's kind of a pain in the butt job. I have severe allergies, and I've got two air purifiers that ionic breeze thing and then a, over there I'll show you all my mess in my room an Austin Air HEPA 
system thing. All right, I have a 20 inch cinema display that is the matching um, monitor to this. Sorry, I'm out of breath after stuffing that thing back where it goes. <laughs> and I have both a matching wired USB mouse. I'm going to excuse the mess on my desk. I keep it dusted, but this glass desk shows all the little smears and you know fingerprints and things. And then I have this is connected to my 2010 Mini. But this is the mouse I have for it, the Bluetooth version. I upgraded, that's the other thing I did. I put in the Airport Extreme card, and um, which includes Bluetooth. So I have built-in Bluetooth and 802.11G. Everybody told me I was nuts. I should have gone with a USB card, blah, blah, blah. But I, I prefer to do it that way just because I like it. <laughs> call me nuts, so call whatever. And then I bought a matching keyboard. And I didn't realize this until I got it. This is the international keyboard. The US keyboard would have had the same sort of layout as this, at least very similar. But as you can see, it's a bit different. Um, you have pound key. You have shown on here all of the tilde's here, it's rearranged a bit. You've got different um, symbols that other languages would use. Where is it? Like you have the upside down question marks and things like that. Anyway. I thought they were displayed on this, but maybe I'm, I guess not. Oops. But you have different characters. I thought it had the upside down question mark and um, exclamation mark that the Spanish language uses. But it does not. Um, but you can type it easily regardless of keyboard. But it has you know different, different symbols and a slightly different layout. Different enter key. This really throws me off. <laughs> you know we're used to this. Instead we get this. I think it's kind of neat, the different layout. I bought it new old stock, so it was brand new when I got it. I keep these as clean as I can, but, you know, dust gets on there and stuff like that. You know, it's like my white MacBook here. Everybody always, and this is before, I don't, this is not been wiped down just for the video. I wasn't even planning on showing this. This is what I keep it, how I keep my MacBook. Um, I, I just, uh, I eat around it. I drink around it. I, I just, you know, wash my hands, eat with one hand, type with the other, or whatever. Um, I just am careful and I keep them clean and I don't beat them up. You know, it's got some scratches and, you know, scuffs on the bottom mostly, but this is a new battery. Brand new, genuine Apple. Yes, it is a genuine. You can see the plastic's a different color, but it does have the Apple logo. This is the one that, the factory one. It still holds a charge, but it gave me a scare the other day. It was telling me service battery and all this. Um, all I did to solve that was I reset the... The, uh, the, 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 what they call it? SMC, and then I calibrated the battery, gave it a full charge, then let it die. You know, used it till it died and let it sit, and then it came back to, to life. It still has, it, it's only lost, I think, a thousand, what do they call it? The, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's almost as good as a new battery, but that kind of gave me a scare, and I, so I bought another brand new one, and it is a brand new one. I only paid 48 bucks, 47 bucks for it off eBay. And it is brand new. I checked the battery, the cycle count. No cycles, nothing. There's my little Metropolitan vacuum. This is what I dust the keyboard and computer area with. Got the full set of attachments with it. I love that thing. It's great. 
Anyway, back to the actual subject that we are discussing. I have basically the whole matching set of things for this computer. The browser I use because Leopard is pretty much non-supported, unfortunately. I'm uploading a video currently. Um, of a Kirby. I use 10.4 Fox because it um, it is a supported, currently updated browser. So really, that's kind of when a when a you know when an operating an operating system is not dead in my eyes until there is not a supported browser. So I'm not going to close that. I'm going to minimize it. I use UView to watch video because it will play flash video HD 720p it'll play 1080p well flash no but it'll play regular 1080p videos pretty well I set it to in the preferences as to maximum of 720 just because this monitor is not a 1080p monitor so why bother um, 720 is fine so it'll play them smooth silk it actually will edit in Final Cut Express it'll edit 1080p videos perfectly it just takes a while to render but when you um, scrub the video back and forth you know as fast as I can move the mouse it's, it doesn't stutter chop or anything it really is quite a capable computer um, this is what I use for watching YouTube mainly because 10.4 Fox, the developers decided to block all plugins for security reasons. And it, I cannot get Flash to work on this. They permanently disabled it. And I understand why. Whatever. I'll just use this. Even though I find it slightly annoying. Um, this works. Um, we'll go to About This Mac. And really, quite honestly, it works a little better in you view because it downloads it and it uses a quick time format to play rather than flash so it really it plays you know it, it it buffers much quicker it doesn't get the computer as hot that kind of thing i i love iStat i think it's fun i have it here on the i have it on my macbook i have it on the mini as well I'm about to consider upgrading this one to 16 gigabytes just because it seems like 8 gigabytes is barely cutting it on this. But over here, 8 gigabytes is doing quite well. As you can see, the dual 2.3 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of DDR2 SD RAM. Um, just to prove that I'm not full of crap on that. 7800 GTX 512. Um, what else can we put on here in the serial ITA just to show you? Yeah, this has got the gigab uh, terabyte Samsung boot disk. The second drive is a terabyte and a half. What I'm thinking about doing with this machine is switching it to Leopard Server to run um, Time Machine backups for my laptop and Mini and any other Macs that I might so choose. Uh, I may not. Um, what I mostly use this computer for is I use it kind of as a server because I can put the big hard drive inside of it and I can over the network use it to share things. Plus I also use it for video editing. Now some people think I'm nuts when I have both this Intel Mac and my Mac Mini or in my MacBook. But the reason I use this one is because it has the big hard drives. This still has its factory 320 gigabyte hard drive. I mean yes I have an external drive in this little Mac Pro power Mac case but it's just easier to just throw it on here um, 
the iPhone 5 that I'm making this video on will not work with iTunes. However, iPhoto will recognize it as well as take videos and photos off of it. Plus, I can let this thing sit and do its thing. Um, the mini, it, you know, to be quite honest, it doesn't, it takes almost as long on this. Yeah, this one's a bit faster. It takes, you know, maybe an hour or two less than this one, but it still takes a long time. Um, so I could put it on this, and then I could continue using this computer, the mini, for all my video watching and all that. I mean, to be fair, yes, even while I'm rendering HD 1080p video on this one, I can still watch 720p YouTube videos on here with no issue whatsoever. It, it's a very capable computer. That's why I shamelessly still use it for video editing. It's not, it's not that slow. Um, I really do like this machine quite a bit. It really still is a beast. Um, even went so far as to get a little G5 icon on the boot disk. But, um, you know, I have quite a bit of software. I have Adobe CS3 and CS4 installed. Premiere Pro does not work, but After Effects, I believe, was the the one they, that video, I believe it's a video editor, I've never used it, but um, it will run on the PowerPC, I think that was kind of there, even though they wouldn't, they ditched uh, PowerPC in Premiere. They kept this, I've never even opened this to be quite honest. I use uh, Final Cut Express. I have the last version of Final Cut Pro that I could install that would support the PowerPC. But, uh, to be quite honest, yeah, this is, in fact, a video editor. Um... No, oh, it was not supposed to. Ah, yeah, whatever. Um, I may fix that someday. I may not. I don't really care at this point. Um, I use, like I said, I prefer Final Cut Express. It's easy. It I've had better success with it on this computer than um, iMovie. Maybe it's just I'm not as familiar with iMovie, but I can get a very good video result using this. This video that you when you watch this, it will have been edited on this Mac using Final Cut Express 4. It's a, Final Cut Express up until they killed it off ran on the PowerPC Mac, so. I think of anything else interesting I could show you guys on this. Well, we can go ahead. Xbench, why not? Show you guys Xbench. My favorite part is the this. Flies right through it. Even the disk disk goes quickly. It really is not a slow machine. You know, everybody always thinks, oh, power PC. They ditch that. That's slow. Buy an Intel. The power PCs are slow. Power Macs are slow. That, that's not true. I mean, yeah, Mac Pro is going to bury this thing, but, you know, compared to, the, you know, the Core 2 Duos, this is 
as far as usability, very comparable. So this is this is my Power Mac G5. I I really do like it. Uh, I still use it. So I guess that's a full tour of it. I just had one last thing that I'd show you guys. A full screen 1080p video. I found the shortest one I could because I don't want it. It's a 3 minute and 50 second video. So, I figured I'd show you guys at least some of this video. I don't want to get nailed for some copyright nonsense, but just a YouTube on UView video playing I have this hooked up to the stereo as you can see it's playing smooth as could be See, then the title it says HD 1080p. Find my mouse here. 1080p. So look how smooth and clear that is. This is on a 2005 computer that is claimed not to be able to do this kind of thing. That's enough. I'm not get in trouble for playing somebody else's video, but I figured I'd show you guys. I'm not just saying it. It really does play HD, full HD video. 